I have just got bags of Disney. So this first one, it looks just like the lamp in Aladdin, uh, where you rub it, genie comes out and you get three wishes. Now, um, I'm just gonna get this out because it's actually a teapot. It's very well packaged, so there's no way of it like breaking or anything as you transport your bag. So, I just think it's really detailed, like you can, you can literally see the reflection of my camera. Um, and they've just thought of everything. Like, can you see the engraving of Aladdin there? And obviously inside, a bit of foil there, you can remove, um, is obviously where you put the tea. But even just as an ornament or decoration, I just think it's it's a great product to have. So that's the the teapot lamp from Aladdin. So the lamp is ten pounds, which I think is an absolute bargain. You know, I showed this to someone and they thought it was about twenty pounds. I was like, no, ten pounds, really good. The Aladdin thing I really like are these coasters. Okay, so you get four coasters for four pounds. I'm just gonna get them out to show you. Mm -hmm. So they're all individual and unique. Um, this one is obviously just a coaster of the lamp. This one says a whole new world to discover. Uh, this one has the genie on it and it says making my own magic. And the fourth and final one is a really nice one of Princess Jasmine. Four pounds, really good. So I was very happy with them. Now I want to talk about Marie from the Aristocats. So you can get lots of things for Marie. This is a, you know, just a, a mug of Marie. Three pounds. And you can't see it, but the cup underneath here says I'm fabulous. Which is why she's pulling the face she's pulling. It just looks really good. Um, so yeah, really happy with that. Uh, to add to my mug is this one. Now this one's a bit more expensive. This one is six pounds. Yeah, this one's six pounds, but it's a lot bigger. There's a big handle here. I'll get it out and show you. Okay, so this is the mug. It's quite a big mug. You can fit a lot in there, as you can see. And uh, this really cute bow at the back. So, yeah, I think. I mean, it's Marie's face from Marissa Cats, so yeah, I really like it. The trinket dish. So you can put your jewellery and things on top of it. This one's quite small, and um, it's just a little plate, and this is five pounds, which again I think is an absolute bargain at Primark. So you've got to be really careful with these; they're very delicate. But again, it's just like a really cute detail of Marie in the middle there. And they've brought out so many amazing Beauty and the Beast products. Yeah, Mrs. Potts, the teapot. Now they release these as money banks; they're slightly smaller. I think they're a bit cheaper as well. Um, but you, you know, it's Mrs. Potts, she's a teapot, so you want to get the teapot. And this was £12, I think. Yeah, £12. Again, not a bad price at all for a teapot. So, again, they're always really well packaged, so they won't break. So, she's very delicate, obviously, because she's a teapot, so very fragile. But you can see the detail of her, you know, they thought about everything down to the pattern down here and you can see as well inside a lot of space for some tea in there so really really nice detailed effect for mrs potts and it's a nice size as well and i think for 12 pounds that is an absolute bargain okay so here's cogsworth now this is an actual clock Okay, it's not just for decoration, it is a working clock. You just put batteries in and he works like any normal clock. And he's just £10. So again, like to get like a teapot for £12, a clock for £10, I just think it's really good value for money. So, here's Cogsworth, there you go. Looks very realistic. And obviously there is his, his hands, child time. Now on the back here is obviously where you put your batteries to get him working and then you just put him out like that and he'll tell you the time 
so yeah, £10. Not many people have managed to get hold of Lumiere. He's very difficult to get hold of. He wasn't in Primark for very long. Um, they might re-release him, like they did the Cogsworth from Mrs. Potts, but we don't know yet. But I was so lucky to get him. And here he is. So I'm going to get him out of his box and show you. Now this um, candlestick holder is just t uh, £12. And it's fairly big. Look, he's, you know, a decent size. Um, now... I've got a couple of Yankee candles, so I just would literally light them up like that, very easy to place in, and uh, he looks very realistic for £12. And I've also got some <laughs> little candles from Primark, and I'd probably just put one of them on top of his head there, because there is space for another candle. So yeah, I have Lumiere as well. And like that, with one of them on top of his head, would look brilliant. And I can't wait to try him out. This top has Thumper on. I really like it because it's just a little picture of him and he's looking up at whoever's wearing him. So I think it's a nice detail to add. And the final, last but not least, are these um, Bambi and Thumper cups. Now you get two. How much was this? Yeah, six pounds. So it's like they're three pounds each. Um, and it just says their name on it. So one says Thumper and the other says Bambi. So, yeah, my advice, if you're into Disney and you like, you know, things priced at a decent price, I would definitely get yourself to Primark.